Hi there! Thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. This video is part of the series of videos I'm posting to try to help people out when it comes to aptitude tests like the civil service exam. This video in particular is part of my series on math. Today we're going to talk about scientific notation. In particular, we're going to talk about how to multiply using your scientific notation. Now, how can I uh, show you how to do it? I'm going to switch over to my PC, but just a quick reminder, if you haven't watched the first two videos in this series, because this is part three, make sure that you watch those first. Because you're going to understand this concept if you haven't watched the basics first. So go watch part one and part two, and then go back here so you can watch part three. All right? I'll see you in a bit. We're going to talk about how to multiply using scientific notation. Now, it's going to be hard if you haven't seen the first two videos yet. I already talked about the conversion, the rules, whether you move left or right. I already talked about addition. So, now, multiplication naman tayo. Now, I also suggest that if you haven't seen it yet, go and watch my series on exponents because that will help you regarding the rules when it comes to multiplying scientific notation. Okay? So, this is a classic example. This is multiplication. Tapos, if you notice, same yung sign ng scientific notation. In here, you have 3, eto, 4. So, pareho silang positive. Now, pag pareho ang sign kung positive or, uh, pareho ang positive or pareho ang negative, that plays a role dun sa gagawin nating procedure. So, I'm going to demonstrate this first sa inyo. Now, uh, with uh, addition and subtraction, di ba, ang ginama natin is pinagpareho natin yung exponent, and then tsaka natin siya in -add. In this case, pag multiplication, it doesn't matter naman. Okay? Now, ang gagamitin natin dito is basically yung uh, possibility na i-combine muna natin yung mga first parts, tapos tsaka natin i-combine yung next parts. So, anong gagawin natin doon? Okay? Ganito. Kung ano yung nauuna na numbers, ito yung mga digits nila, multiply those. Okay? So, this is going to be 3 times 2.3. Okay? Tapos, yung pangalawa, okay, which is yung times 10, i-multiply din natin sila ng hiwalay. Okay? So, ibig sabihin nun, 10 raised to the third power times 10 raised to the fourth power. And then, what we're going to do next is to put them all together. Okay? Now, why are we doing that? Kasi ang alternative is to convert each of them. Ibig sabihin nun, this will be 3, and then move the decimal place 3 times. 1, 2, 3. So, 3,000 times... And then you have uh, 2.3. That's you move, move 4 times 1, 2, 3, 4. So, kung gusto niyo, pwede rin naman i-multiply niyo ito. However, it does take a lot of time. Okay? So, anong gagawin natin? We're going to do this instead. Okay? So, 3 times 2.3, that's going to give us 6.9. Now, if you don't know how to multiply, um, you, can, you can practice doing that, no? I can't help that much na regarding that part. Uh, multiply lang natin yung 3 at saka yung 2.3. So, 6.9. Now, in this side naman, you have 10 cubed times 10 to the 4th. Now, when you're multiplying uh, na merong pa ng exponents, tapos pareho sila ng number sa baba, okay, yung base number, ang gagawin mo lang is basically 10, okay, tapos you add yung kanilang exponent. So, that is 3 plus 4, that is going to give you 7. Okay? So, the answer becomes 6.9 times 10 to the 7th power. Okay? 6.9 times 10 to the 7th power. And again, saan yun ang galing? Yung first, the part ng scientific notation, pinagsama, minultiply. Tapos yung last part, pinagsama, minultiply. Following the rules natin ng exponents. Okay? Kasi sa exponents, pag nag-multiply ka, ia-add mo sila. Now, I'm going to ask you to practice para makita natin if you already understand the concept, okay? So, this is a different question. Same din ang exponents na kanila scientific notation. So, I'm going to ask you to hit pause now and try it out. Alright, let's see how you did. Again, ang gagawin lang natin is yung first part, first part, pagsasamahin natin sila. So, that is going to be 2.1 times 6.2 and then yung last part, tsaka last part, pagsasamahin din natin sila. So, that is going to give us 10 raised to negative 8, 8 plus, uh, times 10 raised to negative 2. Okay, now dito tayo magsa-start. Again, if you don't know how to multiply your uh, numbers, please practice, okay, regarding the rules dyan. 
i-multiply lang natin straight away. Now, when it comes to numbers na may decimal point, all you have to do is to, no, uh, to multiply the numbers, okay? So, i-multiply natin ito na parang wala siyang decimal, okay? So, 2.1 times, times 2 muna, so 2, and then this is going to be 4. Tapos, yung next level, this is going to be 6 and 2. And then, i-add lang natin sila. You have 2, 10, so 30. Tapos, 302 yung lalabas. And then, dahil meron dalawang decimal places dito, you have 1 and 2. Dalawang decimal places. Ibig sabihin, i-move natin din yung decimal place here, okay, ng that uh, many places, okay? So, it's going to give us 1, 2. That is going to be uh, the answer, okay? So, you have... Um, Again, you have 12 here, and then you have there, so my 13.02 ka, okay? So, just be careful regarding that when you're starting to to add your numbers, okay? So, again, pag ilan ang decimal places nung multiply mo, in this case, dalawa, yun din ang decimal place na igagalaw mo sa last answer. So, 13.02, okay? So, ang mangyayari, 13.02 yung first part ng final answer. And times alin. Now, in this case, pareho silang negative number. So, ang gagawin lang natin is 10 raised to negative 8 plus negative 2. Now, ang rules natin, again, regarding exponents, kung pareho sila ng sign, you just add it together. So, that is 10. Tapos, kakopy mo yung kanilang sign. Dahil pareho naman sila. So, that is going to give you negative 10. Okay? So, 13.02 times 10 raised to negative 10. Ngayon, however, ang medyo tricky part dyan is that yung 13.02, hindi pa yan naka-standard, naka-scientific notation. Bakit hindi siya naka-scientific notation? Kasi dalawa pa yung digits na nasa harap. Okay? Ano ibig sabihin ko doon? 13.02 siya. Dapat isa lang ang number na before, that comes before the um, decimal point. So, anong gagawin natin? I-move pa uli natin siya. Now, in order for us to move that, Ibig sabihin nun, gagalaw mo siya ng isang beses pa, okay? Or lili, uh, paliliitin natin yung number na mas, mala mas malaki. Now, when you move the... Pinag-usapan natin ito sa first video, no? So, pag ang goal, ang ginawa mo is minove mo yung decimal place to the right, okay? Para ma-achieve yung number na yon. Ibig sabihin nun, dadagdagan mo ng isa yung exponent. So, the answer becomes 1.302 times 10 to the negative ninth power. Okay? Again, 13.02 siya times 10 to the negative 10th, right? Now, ang dapat lumabas is 1.302. Now, to get that, ang ginawa natin is kung para buuin mo yung 1.302, dito naman gagaling yung uh, goal na decimal point, imove mo ng mon place. So, ibig sabihin nun, magpa-plus ka ng isa dito. At dahil negative number siya, nagdagdag ka ng positive number, magiging negative 9 siya. So, 1.302 times 10 to the negative 9. Be careful with that lang, okay? Yung movement pa left or, or pa right. Basta remember, pag ang movement ay mas lumaki, mas malaki ang number, pinapaliit mo yung number, in this case 13, ginawa mong 1, magdadagdag ka. Pag maliit yung number, pinalaki mo, ibig sabihin 0 0.013 siya, ginawa mong 1.3, magbabawas ka doon sa exponent. Okay? So, just be careful with that. Baka yung iba sa inyo ang sagot, negative 11. Okay? So, again, watch the first video if naguguluhan pa rin kayo. Now, paano naman kung different yung sign? In this case, you have 5.5 times 10 raised to negative 5. Tapos, imumultiply mo siya sa 6.3 times 10 to the 6th power. So, magkaiba sila ng sign. Now, same din ang gagawin natin. You just have to be careful regarding the signs. Okay? So, you have 5.5 times 6.3. So, again, 5.5, 6.3. Kunyari, walang decimal point. So, you have 5 times 3, 15. Another 15 here, plus 1, so 16. And then you have here, dito sa bab babang side, 5 times 6 is 30. Tapos, another 30, okay, plus 3, 33. Okay? So, you have 3, 4, 6, 5. At meron kang dalawang decimal point, 1, 2. So, mumove mo siya, 1, 2. So, the answer is 34.5. 65. Ngayon, ito yung sa left side. Sa right side naman, you have 10 uh, to the raised to the negative 5 times 10 raised to 6. Again, ang gagawin lang natin is i-add natin yung numbers na nasa taas. So, you have times 10, tapos negative 5 plus 6 or positive 6. 
Now, in this case, okay, hindi natin pwedeng i-add lang yung 5 at 6 at i-copy yung sign. Bakit? Kasi magkaiba sila ng sign. So, ang gagawin natin is, isusubtract natin yung mas maliit sa mas malaki. So, you have 1, okay? So, 6 minus 5, that is 1. Tapos, dahil positive yung sign ng mas malaking number, that is going to be positive 1. So, 34.65 times 10 raised to 1 power. Ngayon, Again, kung naguluhan kayo, anong nangyari dyan, don't just ask me, okay? Kasi yung iba, uh, itatanong na lang sa akin. As I, I don't always have time to answer your comments sa YouTube or sa Facebook. Go and watch my video on exponents, okay? That will explain everything, okay? Ngayon, again, in this case, 34.65 siya. Hindi pa siya proper. Dapat 3.465 ang lumabas, okay? So, ang movement niya, pa right, Ibig sabihin, pinalait mo yung malaking number, ibig sabihin magdadagdag tayo dito. Plus 1 dapat. So, 10 raised to 2. Alright, I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends, lalo na kung mag-e-exam din sila like you. And if you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell icon para malaman ninyo as soon as new video posts. And if you have any questions or you want to reach out to me directly, kung meron kayong gustong makuha ng reviewer or gusto yung mag-attend ng one of the live review events, go to www.facebook.com slash teamlaika para makontakt ninyo ako directly. I'd love to see you and God bless sa inyo lahat. Adja-adja, kain niyan. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.